Yeah. Um, when things are going well for your team, why are they going well for your team? What does your team do well that you really sort of master? Um, I think I think when we're playing good hockey, uh, we're on top of people. We're a pressure team. Um, we're we're causing turnovers, uh, playing in the ozone, grinding teams out, uh, tight gap, and then transition on them. Um, you know that's when I think we've played our best. We've had some nights where, you know, I think we've done a real good job of playing to that type of identity. I still think a part of our identity that needs to get better along with that is making sure that that we're not giving up easy chances. That's definitely something that uh, those two things have to go hand in hand. And, and there's going to be nights where maybe the pressure isn't as great as you'd like it to be for a number of reasons. And that's where you got to really make sure you're not giving them many chances. But definitely being a pressure team is something that I think when we're on our best, we're, we're doing a good job with. In your pre-scout work, how good is the team you're playing tonight? Well, what's, what's the challenge that they present to your team? I'm a big fan of this team in Minnesota. They, they I think they're a playoff type uh, team in terms of, um, they don't give anything up easy. They've got a number of really good two-way players uh, throughout their lineup. Um, they've got enough high-end skill to, to be real dangerous, uh, but they, they're very, very smart. Um, I think they play a really smart, hard, physical game. Um, they, they're, they're a real good four-checking team without ever taking themselves uh, out of position and giving up chances. They're very well coached by Dean Evison. He's done an excellent job here. Um, so we know our hands, we'll have our hands full. We have a great respect for how good this team is. Will you have both Smith guys on the lineup tonight? Uh, yeah, it appears both Smiths will be in the lineup tonight. What is that? What is that uh, I guess, how, how cool is that for a guy who's been around hockey for a while to coach two guys who grew up together in this era? And never play together, you know, and I think that's a big piece of it is they've never uh, they've never played together. I just asked them that today. I met with them both on, on something and uh, by play together, I mean, really be on the same team and on the ice at the same time together, you know. Um, so, you know, they, they somehow Giovanni told me, even though that's never happened, they always win. So I'm not sure how those two things compute. But, uh, um, you know, they they they, yeah, they listen. Uh, I think it's really cool. Um uh, you know, ultimately we're in the winning business and, and we're trying to put the best lineup up and, and those types of things aren't reasons why we make decisions, but I'm also a human. I have a brother and I never got to play with him. And, and I think it would have been really cool to do that. I think it would be an awesome experience for those two. All right, that's what I saw you wandering the, the rink and talking to some, some kids. Is that just you being a man of the people or is somebody special in the my uh, college roommate, uh, uh, Dustin Anderson, uh, who's a good friend of my wife and I, um, was actually uh, is a CSI here in, uh, in the Minnesota area. So he, he was here with a whole group of kids. And then uh, Ben Tharp, who I coached at Miami, um, and, and we've kind of reconnected over the last couple of weeks is here with his son. So it's cool to be able to see, uh, you know, individuals uh, that, that you're, you're close with. Any other lineup changes to be expected tonight? Uh, we'll see when that ice gets, uh, when we go on that ice tonight. <laughs> I gave more than I normally do with the uh, Smith brothers. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to be rude, but that's the, yeah. So what about Valentine's Day for? Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Just what do you like about what you came around with the line the I haven't seen Jamel enough, you know, to, to say that I know his game unreal. Um, but both of them, I think, are physical. Both of them um, uh, can can match uh, other teams' toughness uh, and intensity, which I think Minnesota has a lot of. Um, you know, I think they're different players. Um, I think uh, Jamel's a little more of a, what I would call a, a little more energy player. Um, uh, he's on the puck a little bit. He skates a, probably a little quicker uh, than Giovanni. Giovanni's that big, big body. Um, you know, I haven't seen a lot of them together. Uh, so if we decide to play them together, um, you know, it, it, it'll be a little bit of us watching and seeing how well they do and making decisions if we want to stay with it. But uh, uh, they're both good people that bring toughness. And, and uh, again, I, I know we'll have a real excitement uh, with the opportunity to be on the ice at the same time together. How much of an advantage is it if, if you play them together and have a guy like Sam Lombier? Yeah, Sam's done a lot of good things for us. And one of the things is he can he can help uh, his line mates um, kind of sort through uh, defensive situations, um, you know, talk to he's a really calm, smart uh, hockey guy and and he can, you know, help kind of talk through situations and he's helped Giovanni lots already this year and, and I know he can help both of them so um, you know, it gives you some some security on that line too, with a guy who uh, knows our systems well. You know, Jamel's pretty new here, so it's hard for him to know our systems inside and out. Uh, Giovanni's a, a first year player that's still grasping some of it, so I think uh, you know certainly having uh, uh, Sam on the line I think can help. And just with kind of brought this up the other day about Tyra, how he can create, and that's what 
like to be in part of what like to be uncomfortable putting him on that line. When did you kind of see that in him? I mean, how much of it was not having him last season that maybe you know let you to see this is a guy who can be a driver on his own? Yeah, you know, I think um I felt like Tyler's actually improved lines throughout his time here. Whatever line he's gone on has done a pretty good job. Now, I think his game this year is, is uh, you know, certainly offensively has been taken to another level. Um, and, and so as the year went along, uh, you know, maybe I should have made the decision earlier. Um, as the year went along, it, it became apparent that, that he was, uh, you know, not just a supporting uh, piece on that line, but a guy who, who can really drive a line. So, you know, not having him last year uh, it certainly hurt our team. I knew we weren't as good a team without uh, Tyler. I know he's one of the big pieces for our hockey team, but it also would say um, just the level of which he's played uh, this year is, is what made that decision. Uh, both both probably the level he's played, the level Larks has played, and, and really the level Razor's played. It allowed me to make the decision that one, Tyler can go to another line and help drive the line a little bit, and two, that the, the Larks line wasn't going to suffer. And I think that was an important piece of it. Thank you, Flash. Yep. Is that it? Yep. Oh, perfect.